So this is my poem. I wrote it for a boy I'm still in love with. I think he lives somewhere. <laughs> when he finally decides to marry that nice Jewish girl, I wonder if I will be invited to the wedding. If the card will come shoved in my crooked mail slot and how the paper will feel in my hands, unfolding like a fistful of orchids with broken necks, will I lift the envelope to my lips and breathe deep enough to smell his tongue? Remember the continent shifting upon it. Most likely, I will hear about it secondhand. The news arriving like an unwashed coat, sad and hanging alone in my closet. How big will my mouth grow? Hopefully large enough to bite off the head of any messenger lucky enough to deliver it. It has been six years, five months, and four days since we last spoke. Four more until I imagine him holding that woman's hand before a split dead sea of family collapsed into a salt water unity. Does he love her yet? When they kiss, does he ever imagine my hair on her upper lip? I have felt this tremble from across these states. I have built his face into a glass house placed in a valley of rocks. Once the date is set, I will spend the last of my pocket lint on a bus ticket regardless of the destination. And when we emerge from the water, the bus head a crowning fetus upon the beach of that Hawaiian island. It will be just in time for the rabbi to ask if anyone has any objections to the wedding, and I will say yes. Theo, remember the night we drove through that midnight field with my hand seat belted to your chest? I have loved you since your eyes penetrated mine like a dull brick. Each accidental hand brushing against thigh was I trying to write you a poem. I know you may not remember my name or how well it fits in your mouth or believe me when I tell you I have traveled here from the depths of all of this ache. I am a building of thin skin windows for you asking you to look at me once more before that glass breaks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah.